Three persons were hurt and a massive hole was left by the bomb explosion that occurred late on Thursday in Belgorod. The explosion was triggered by a weapon unintentionally discharged by one of the Russian Defense Ministry's own Su-34 planes, which was soon acknowledged. The ministry stated that an inquiry was ongoing but provided no other information regarding the weapon, which according to military analysts was probably a potent 500-kilogram bomb. Authorities reported that after an explosive device was discovered at the scene where a bomb accidentally dropped by a Russian warplane caused a massive boom this week, 17 apartment blocks in a Russian city close to the Ukrainian border were evacuated. A spokesperson for the Russian Foreign Ministry stated on Saturday that more than 20 German diplomats had been expelled in retaliation for the mass expulsion of Russian embassy personnel from Berlin. Maria Zakharova reported that Moscow has decided to deport more than 20 diplomats after her ministry objected to another mass expulsion of employees of Russian diplomatic missions in Germany. The eastern city, much of which is in ruins, has been the scene of fighting between Ukrainian and Russian soldiers for months. According to the ministry's most recent dispatch, the airborne troops were restraining the Ukrainian units on the flanks and supported the actions of the assault squads to capture the city. Russia claims it occupies three districts in Bakhmut, Ukraine's western region. The western portion of the Ukrainian city of Bakhmut has three more districts that have been taken by Russian assault troops, according to the Russian Defense Ministry on Saturday, the Wagner set of fighters are sometimes referred to as assault troops by the Russian military. The World Food Programme of the United Nations is delivering a first consignment of Russian fertilizer that Latvia seized last year to Kenya, the Foreign Ministry of Latvia announced on Saturday. The seizure has been mentioned by Russia as a major barrier to its continued participation in a Black Sea grain agreement that permits Ukraine to export wheat. Even as the Ukrainian military gets ready to train on the M1 Abrams combat tank, America's senior uniformed military official declared that there is no silver bullet the U.S. and its allies can give Ukraine to defeat Russia. General Mark Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, stated during a press conference, I do think the M1 tank, when it is delivered, will make a difference. There is no magic cure. The U.S. said that it will soon begin educating Ukrainian forces on how to operate its Abrams tank, and Germany disclosed an agreement to set up a hub in Poland for maintaining tanks stationed in Ukraine. In a rare instance of using the term against a person who is not a Russian citizen, Russia put a Bulgarian journalist and longtime Kremlin critic to its list of foreign agents and ordered his detention. Since President Vladimir Putin dispatched troops to the Ukraine in February of last year, Moscow has intensified its efforts to quell opposition, and the majority of independent media outlets have been closed down or put on indefinite hiatus. Christo Grozev, a 53-year-old Bulgarian who works as the chief Russia reporter for the investigative website Bellingcat, was instrumental in that organization's investigation into the assassination of opposition figure Alexei Navalny. He understood that Russia was actively advancing its own technology and was aware of its significance on the battlefield. New unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, from both Russia and our side enter the fray daily, according to Fedorov. We check out the drones they have. We take them in, dissect them, and research them. Unmanned aerial vehicles, or drones, electronic warfare, satellite communications, and other technologies, according to Ukraine's Minister of Digital Transformation Mikhail Fedorov, have been a crucial component of the battle with Russia since it started more than a year ago. In his words, technologies enable traditional and modern artillery to be more accurate, and they aid in saving our soldiers' lives. Although the two sides have kept up with one another thus far, Ukraine's Minister of Technology told the Associated Press in an interview on Friday that he was certain that his nation would ultimately be more motivated and capable of out-innovating Russia. The first significant conflict of the Internet era in Europe has created a technological arms race between the Russian and Ukrainian armies as they engage in conventional combat on the front lines. Both sides are competing for the upper hand with their drones and satellite communications. Military experts stated the device was probably a potent 500-kilogram bomb despite the ministry's lack of any additional information. Military specialists alleged that the weapon appeared to have been programmed to detonate after impact with a brief delay, allowing it to strike beneath infrastructure. In order to ensure that a nine-story apartment building hadn't sustained structural damage that made it unsafe, Belgorod Governor Vyacheslav Gladkov said local officials made the decision to temporarily relocate inhabitants of the structure. 
It destroyed many automobiles, flung one into a store roof, and left a 20 meters, 66 feet, wide crater in the center of a tree-lined avenue surrounded by apartment buildings. Authorities reported that three people were involved, with one later being hospitalized for hypertension. Russian analysts and military bloggers were buzzing with hypotheses about what weapon Ukraine had used for the attack as soon as the explosion occurred. Many of them demanded severe retaliation. But approximately an hour later, the Russian Defense Ministry admitted that the explosion was caused by a weapon that one of its own Su-34 warplanes unintentionally discharged. The Ukrainian military resisted making a public claim of responsibility for the attacks, although Russian officials still accused it of carrying out the earlier attacks. The late-night explosion on Thursday was far more powerful than anything the citizens of Belgorod had ever witnessed. Witnesses heard a low hissing sound, then a blast that shattered windows in surrounding apartment buildings and caused the structures to vibrate. The Russian military admitted that a bomb delivered by one of its jets inadvertently created a strong blast in a Russian city close to the Ukrainian border that injured two people and alarmed locals. During Russia's military action in Ukraine, Belgorod, a city of 340,000 people situated about 40 kilometers 25 miles, east of the Russia-Ukraine border, has experienced frequent drone assaults.